I'm Desmond Saunders. Welcome to the Bahamas Tonight, the weekend edition. Thanks for joining us. Well, topping the news tonight, we begin tonight with an update on a story we told you about last night. Immigration officials confirming to our news team that 15 more Haitian nationals have been discovered dead, believed to be passengers on that Haitian sloop. Law enforcement officials discovered Saturday after it overturned in waters off Fall in Manamar Keys in northern Abaco. Law enforcement officials reported 13 Haitian nationals had initially been found dead, but the latest discoveries were made when officials resumed their search this morning. Director of Immigration Clarence Russell says those persons who were discovered alive have since been flown here to the capital for processing by immigration and police officials. The first flight, the police, um, immigration, um, the Royal Bahamas Defense Force um, converged back on the scene out at sea this morning and have regrettably um, discovered some 15 um, bodies that obviously had expired. I'm um, all suspected to have been a part of the incident, that tragic incident that occurred um, off the Abacos yesterday morning. Um, we join in this particular instance the right Bahamas, who was of recent, indicated in Creole to the Creole population that would need to get out to their friends and family in Haiti that their lives are worth more than a few dollars that some persons are receiving to attempt to transport them um, to another destination. A Royal Bahamas Defense Force release stated that 17 persons were, were rescued alive and 28 bodies were covered. Russell says teams are still searching as he confirmed an additional two persons were found alive today and taken to Marsh Harbor. He says based on what they heard from migrants on the capsized vessel, other persons may have swam to another key. He's asking members of the public to keep their eyes open. The Director of Immigration further warns residents that persons who aid in smuggling of migrants will be caught and dealt with by the law. This is a horrifically tragic incident. And our prayers go out to all persons involved who would have had or suffered any loss in this instance and to the Haitian government um, um, as a whole. It is most unfortunate and we deplore having to take persons into custody given these circumstances. But the law must be carried out um, in all instances. And the risks that you are taking are not worth your lives. In time, I suspect things would improve, but that's for another day, nor here or there. But from an immigration standpoint, our point is, if and when you are discovered, you will be prosecuted 